Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm joined by Pickles, who is going to be my very special guest and demonstrate something in this video. I'm going to be talking about, should you grab your bird? Now I did a video on grabbing, which was related to a TikTok video I saw, but I thought I'd do a direct video addressing grabbing, its very occasional uses, and also showing a secret way of grabbing, which I have trained Pickles to do. And I will show that right at the end, just so you watch the whole lot, because I like to tease you like that. Now let's start off with the worst kind of grabbing and that's any kind of aggressive grabbing. If you're grabbing your bird aggressively because they're not doing what you want or it's just basically you're just grabbing them to restrain them for your convenience, then that's a big no-no. That should never be done, it's no good. It leads to learned helplessness, which is basically where your bird shuts down, allows you to do what you want to it, but not in a trustful way. It leads to fear, and it also leads to biting and a breaking trust with your hand. It is the worst thing you can do to your bird, and any sort of aggressive grabbing is absolute no-no. So please, please, please never do this to your bird. Now next, let's talk about casual grabbing. When I'm talking about casual grabbing, it's where your bird's pretty okay with you, and you just sort of grab it just to move it back into its cage, or you just want to just basically just grab it and move it somewhere else. The problem with casual grabbing is it's often just tolerated by our birds. They don't really like it, but they just trust us enough to allow it. However, it can lead to hormonal behavior, especially if you do it too often. For example, you're just constantly enclosing them in your hand. It can lead to a breaking trust, but not as often as aggressive grabbing. So with casual grabbing, I often advise owners not to do it. It isn't ideal, but at least it's not as bad as aggressive grabbing. You know, If you're grabbing your bird aggressively, just for your convenience, it's no good. Casually, you see it a lot and a lot of birds will put up with it, but yeah, just be cautious how you do it because it could lead to undesirable behaviours or problems. Another thing I often hear with birds who aren't aggressively grabbed and who tolerate it is they like it, they enjoy it, it's great. And that often comes from anthropomorphism where we're putting our feelings onto the bird. We may like to be like cuddled up and snuggled up. I don't think we'd like to be grabbed necessarily, so it doesn't really work as a analogy but yeah our birds often just put up with it they don't generally like it it may you know just be something they put up with so be careful how you interpret their reactions to being grabbed too generally any kind of grabbing on your bird should be an absolute last resort you should only be doing it if there is an emergency situation or if there's a real problem and you're you just don't know what to do about it you know your birds um, panicking is a situation maybe the door's going they might get out that is the only situation you really be doing it shouldn't just be done as a sort of whatever you want sort of situation while i'm on that point as well and while i'm generally not for grabbing apart from all the reasons i've already given sometimes if it's done inappropriately and you fully restrict your bird which i'll show a, a good way of not doing that in a minute then you could potentially be restricting their breathing unlike us who, if we are slightly restricted here, we can still breathe. A bird uses its whole body to breathe. Even if their nose is exposed, thank you Pickles for demonstrating this. Even if their nose is exposed, it means, they, if they're fully enclosed, it still means they may not be able to breathe, so be very careful with it. So, I like to present both sides of the coin in these videos, so let's muddy the waters a little bit. and Talk about grabbing that's not grabbing. So, a lot of birds will like, or you know, like hormonally, being enclosed to a certain extent. And most of the time you'll see this in conures or other parrots where maybe you'll have your hand around their back, but you'll have your thumb supporting their feet and perching there. Now, generally, this isn't actually that bad as long as it's not done repeatedly and if it is causing hormonal behavior, you stop. But the most important thing with that sort of grabbing in inverted commas is your bird is not fully enclosed, your bird's feet are supported, and they feel like basically it's a voluntary thing. And I think that's the most important thing, it's a voluntary thing, they choose to do it, rather than you forcing it by putting your hand around them. So let's use an example of Pickles here as a voluntary grab. Now you see that she looks like she's fully enclosed in my hand here, and I've trained her to do this. However, I'm putting no pressure on her back, my, in fact, my skin's not even really touching her back. And if you can see, her feet are actually on my fingers. And I've trained her to do this because I want to be able to voluntarily grab her if necessary, without restraining her, without hormonally touching her, and with her being willing to do this. So for example, she is in a dangerous situation. I can present my hand, my two fingers like that. She'll step up and then she'll be done. And also with this, she can actually leave if she needs to. And generally she won't because she trusts me enough to do it. But it's just another way you can approach this situation rather than just going like that on your bird. 
So everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope if you are a grabber of birds, it maybe made you think twice about doing it or maybe training it in a voluntary way. If you have any questions, always happy to hear from you. But from me, Pickles and Scamper, who's flying around, take care, have a really nice day.